holiday concert with the theme, Christmas Round the World. This year's Highlights Concert is our first presentation since COVID-19 and features the Alamo Angels Accordion Orchestra and students who have been able to resume their studies. Today, we're especially honored to welcome Ms. Catherine Horton, a senior at Reagan High School who is studying music theory and composition, and she'll be doing our open performance on the harp. In the true spirit of the holiday season, through music, each of us is giving of our own special talents to share what we have learned in the past year. Through old familiar songs and some that are new, we are able to celebrate the traditions that inspire and give to others the greatest gifts of all, our time, our talents, and our treasures. We are especially thankful to the many sponsors and partners who have made this afternoon possible. You'll see them listed throughout in your program book, which is on its way. Since its beginning in 2005, a priority of Dreams Fulfilled Through Music has been to develop collaborative partnerships within the community in order to always expand our ability to meet our mission of providing adaptive music education, music therapy services, and performances for all with special learning needs and challenges. We extend our appreciation to Any Baby Can for their outstanding service to the community for individuals with autistic spectrum challenges and to the Down Syndrome Association of South Texas for their extraordinary support and services to individuals with Down Syndrome and their families. We also recognize San Antonio Independent Living Services for their ongoing work with adults in our community who need special help with the challenges of everyday living. And our thanks to the Department of Arts and Culture of the City of San Antonio and the San Antonio Area Foundation for major financial support. And to the Colors Foundation and Monday Loves You in Chicago for their substantial in-kind support of DFTM. For those who are able to offer a special gift this afternoon, there is a, uh, at the refreshments table, there is a place where you may make a donation or sign up for opportunities to become part of Dreams Fulfilled Through Music in our programming. If you're not able to provide financial gift at this time, there's many ways in which you may offer to support Dreams by sharing your time and talents as a volunteer. Please check out our website at www.dftm.org and follow us on Facebook at facebook.com slash dftmweb. I'd like to recognize the board of directors for DREAMS, Mr. Frank Villani, who is our president. He is in Florida right now celebrating a birthday of one of his grandchildren. Mr. Lewis Andrews, who is right over here, and uh, Missy Smedley, who is in charge of fundraising, and she is on her way to uh, bringing some more delicious treats for, a, for re refreshments afterwards. Mr. David Tristan is our marketing board member, and he just, this past few days, had a sudden loss of a family member, so he's not with us today. Our advisory board is, stretches far and wide. We have Nobu Yamamoto, who's the CEO of Color Foundation. We have Kevin Lamana from Chicago. Uh, Dehan Yurisek at Yoke Tax Services. John Schwab from the RMI uh, Deheb Programming. Dr. Angelica Davila, who is a gerontologist with the University Health Science Center. And we have, advising our board, retired Lieutenant Colonel Gracie Bernardi from the U.S. Army. And she guides us 
was helping us to get programs and get senior citizens involved and for the military dependents and wounded warriors. We also have, as, as an advisory board member, is Roy Harris, parent advocate. I won't ask you to stand, Roy, but you're gonna do it anyway. At this time, I would like to ask the Reverend Andy Johnson, Associate Pastor of Shepherd of the Hills Lutheran Church, to come forward to say the invocation and blessing of this afternoon's concert. Welcome here to Shepherd of the Hills. It's a blessing and an honor to have you all here with us. Um, I'm looking forward to it, and my kids here are with me as well, and so thank you for being here today, and, and welcome for those of you that are here. Uh, we begin this afternoon in God's name, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Pastor Andy. Our MC for this afternoon's concert is none other than our Vice President and Treasurer um, of the DFTM Board of Directors, Mr. Lewis Andrews, and he has been a behind-the-scenes supporter of our mission since 2008. And please help me welcome Mr. Lewis Andrews. Thank you. Thank you. Are you ready to get started? All right. The uh, opening session of our concert this afternoon is presented by Mrs. Catherine Harton. Mrs. Catherine Harton, performing the beautiful Ave Maria by Bach Gounod. Ave Maria is well known and much recorded setting of the Latin prayer, Ave Maria, originally published in 1853 as Meditation of the First Prelude of J.S. Bach. The melody, written by the French Romantic composer Charles Gounod, is superimposed over an only very slightly changed version of Bach's prelude number one in C major. Uh, BWV 846 from book one of his well-tempered clavier published in 1722, first published by a French text in 1853. It was the 1859 version with the Latin Ava Maria which became popular. The special arrangement is by Yolanda Condonassis.
Thanks so much, Catherine. We are delighted today to present the Alamo Angels Accordion Orchestra in their first performance since December 2019. The Alamo Angels Accordion Orchestra is the only performing organization of its type in the world and is comprised of students, musicians, and senior citizens, all with varying disabilities. Before COVID, these dedicated musicians rehearsed at least eight hours a week to prepare for a wide variety of music, including classical, ethnic, sacred, and patriotic, while learning the rudimentary of playing multiple part scores under the direction of a conductor. In May of 2020, the Alamo Angels will travel to Superior, Wisconsin to perform at the World of Accordion Museum for an international audience of accordion educators and professional artists. Uh, the Alamo Angels will, will perform What Child Is This? and Joy to the World. Now, 2022, sorry. I'm a year behind. Joy to the world.
Thank you, Alamo Angels. We're going to have a set change now. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, while we're taking a few moments to rearrange chairs and stands for the Alamo Angels and prepare for the rest of the program, I'd like to tell you a bit more about this amazing group. They have pre previously participated in the American Accordionist Association National Festivals and competitions from 2006 to 2015. Traveled to Buffalo, New York, where they were part of a AAA masked accordion band performing Roll Out the Barrel at Niagara Falls. Nashville, Tennessee, where they played at Graceland. Washington, D.C., where they played on the steps of the United States Capitol, as well as New York City for a performance at Bryant Park in Westchester, New York. Each year, they competed in both solo and ensemble categories, earning many trophies and accolades for their accomplishments. Most significant is the fact that there were no compromises made in the music requirements for any different abilities or challenges. Performers were judged solely on their musical accomplishments. I believe we're now ready to continue with the next part of the program. Master Sebastian Inkland began his mu musical studies just two months ago and is progressing rapidly. He is a kindergarten student at the Great Heart Charter School. We are delighted to welcome him for his very first recital performance of Counting the Days Until Christmas, written by Nancy and Randall Faber. Welcome, Master Sebastian Inkland. Thank you so much, Gabriel. <laughs> All right. Next on the program, we have two more carols of American and German origin, Away in a Manger and O Come Little Children. Mrs. Wendy Wright, who is a student at Alamo Care Dayhab and 
participated in the Dreams Fulfilled Music concerts for several years with the Bright Waves Hand Chime Ensemble before COVID and has just recently been able to resume lessons. Oh. According to oh, sorry, I got too far apart. Gabriel Garcia began his lesson just one year ago and is already in the third book of the Color Foundation's curriculum. He loves to create his own music and is rapidly developing skills in reading notes. His heritage is both German and Hispanic, and he has great fun learning. Lo, how a rose er bloom and O Christmas tree, two very popular German carols. While he is excited to play today, he told us he would be embarrassed if people clapped. So that we ask that the audience quietly affirm his accomplishments on this, his first ever musical recitement, performed on the piano. Thank you so much, Gabriel. And now we have Miss Wendy Wright. Uh, we have two more carols of American and German origin. Uh, Away in a Manger and O Come Little Children. Miss Wendy Wright, who is a student at Alamo Care Dayhab and and has participated in the Dreams Fulfilled concerts for several years with the Bright Wave Hand Chive Ensemble before COVID and has just recently been able to resume lessons. Away in a Manger was first published in the late 19th century. The lyrics are most commonly set to the melody by William J. Kirkpatrick or James R. Murray. While these lyrics are often attributed to Martin Luther in commemoration of the 400th anniversary of his birthday in 1883, the hymn is nowhere to be found among Luther's works. The lyric poem, Ir Kindling Comet, was written by Christopher von Smith in 1798. The music to the poem is known today were written by John Peter Schultz in 1794. We present to you Miss Wendy Wright on the piano.
Hi, congratulations, Wendy, on a wonderful performance. Uh, I have a note here. The recordings will be available on the Dreams Fulfilled Through Music YouTube site. So anyone that'd like to be re to revisit this, you can go to YouTube and find it. Yes, by Monday or Tuesday. We're not 100% rolling. We're still in slow mode. Uh, next on the program is Randy Lynn Harris, who has performed in Dreams Fulfilled Through Music concerts and competitions since Dreams was founded in 2005. As you have already heard, Randy plays the accordion, and now you will hear him on the piano. I hear the bells of Christmas Day <laughs> is a well-known carol based upon the 1863 poem, Christmas Bells, by the American poet, Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. The song tells of, of the narr narrator hearing Christmas bells during the American Civil War beginning with much sadness of the state of affairs, but concludes with the joyful resolution of peace on earth, good will towards men. We present Mr. Randy Lynn Harris. Thank you, Randy. <laughs> All right. The first Noel, Mr. Richard Onesco. Richard first participated in Dreams Fulfilled program as an accordion student back in 2005, and has recently returned to develop more proficiency on the piano as well as the accordion. He has studied accordion for many years as a child when he was growing up in Rhode Island. From the 13th or 14th century, a time in which all medieval civilizations in Europe were springing to life, the inspiration for the story of the song comes from dramatizations of favorite Bible stories for holidays, which were called the miracle plays, and were very popular during the medieval times. It tells the story the night that Jesus was born in Bethlehem based on the gospel accounts in Luke chapter 2 and Matthew chapter 2. Today he will perform the first Noel on the piano arranged by Dennis Alexander. Please help me welcome Richard.
Thank you so much, Richard. While Richard is moving from the piano to the accordion, we move across the centuries to bring you a lifelong favorite country love song that we've dedicated to our many wonderful men and women in blue. I'll have a blue Christmas without you. And remember just how blue our Christmas might be without their countless hours of dedication and service to our communities. I'll have a blue Christmas without you, written by Billy Hayes and Jay Johnson, and most famously performed by Elvis Presley, and first recorded in 1948. Blue Christmas has become one of the best known and most popular holiday classics in history. Our arrangements today for accordion trio was written by the late Richard McJokas, former assistant director to the Alamo Angels. Richard, Catherine, and Mary Kay will join the performance Blue Christmas. Thank you so much, Richard, Catherine, and Mary Catherine. Our next up is Silent Night. 
performed by Ruby Harris. Silent Night, German, Steilnach Heilignach, is a popular Christmas carol composed in 1818 by Franz Gruber to the lyrics jo by Joseph Moore in the small town of Offender de Salzburg, Australia. The song has been recorded by many singers across many genres. The melody was composed by Franz Gruber, schoolmaster and organist in the nearby village of Arnstadt, new part of Lampeschgenzen, just north of Salzburg, Australia. Austria, hey, there we go. Putting too many words to it. A uh, little, little distance there, too, between the two. On Christmas Eve, 1818, Moore brought the words to Gruber and asked him to compose a melody and guitar accompaniment for that night's mass after rivers flooded had damaged the church organ. The church was eventually destroyed by repeated flooding and replaced with the Silent Night Chapel pictured in your program. Yeah, on the screen. The programs, I think, are here. Yeah, they're in the back. It is unknown what inspired Moore to, re to write the lyrics or what prompted him to create a new carol. Ruby Harris, who has also performed the accordion with Alamo Angels, has for years been a pianist at the Lotus Independent Baptist Church and is looking forward to performing her own arrangement of Silent Night, Holy Night. Mrs. Ruby Harris at the piano. Thank you, Ruby. All right, we have a program change. Uh, it came upon a midnight clear with Mary Kay and Catherine Marie Archuleta. Although we were planning for Richard Flint to join us for the closing section of the program, he was unable to be here at the last minute. So Catherine Marie and Mary Catherine will close us with It Came Upon a Midnight Clear, an 1849 poem and Christmas carol written by Edmund Sears, pastor of the Unitarian Church of Wayland in Wayland, Massachusetts. In 1850, Sears' limit lyrics were set to the carol, a tune written for the poem the same year at his request by Richard Storrs Willis. This pairing remains the most popular in the United States, while in Commonwealth countries, the lyrics are set to Noel. A later adoption, adaptation by Sir Arthur Sullivan from an English melody. Mary Kay and Catherine Marie.
Thank you so much. Doing good? All right. Uh, Dreams are filled through music, Student Recognition Awards, 2021. Not 2022, 21. Uh-huh. All right. Each of the performers here this afternoon have put forth many hours of dedication and practice to share their talents with you. And Dreams Fulfilled Through Music would like to say thank you in a small way for all your efforts. Ms. Catherine Harden. <laughs> Master Sebastian Inkland. Master Gabriel Garcia. Miss <laughs> uh, Wendy Wright. Mr. Philippe Gonzalez, Felipe Gonzalez. No, you're hiding, hiding over here, uh, huh? Miss <laughs> <Ms>. Catherine. <laughs> sure, we do. We got to have some applause with that. <laughs> Mr. Randy Lynn Harris. Miss Ruby Harris. <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> right, and Mr. Richard Onsko. He has two also. <laughs> That's right. And retired Lieutenant Colonel Gracie Garcia Bernard. Some special ones here for Mr. Felipe Gonzalez. Nope. That's not. Nope. Not yet. Not, not yet. yet. All right. Uh, You're in 14 then. Yeah. No. All right. Uh, B.J. Cruz for a dedicated work on preparing the audio and sound system for today's concert. Come on down. And there's a little something besides just the certificate. There is a $25 gift certificate out back just out of the store. Without him, we'd be shouting right now. Uh, Abby Simmons. 
Can you come down from the balcony for a minute, Abby? <laughs> <laughs> for her dedicated work on preparing the video and streaming of today's concert, which will be available on the Dream Fulfilled YouTube channel in the coming week. Missy have to leave? I uh, don't see her. Okay. All right, Missy Smedley for her provision of refreshments and the printing of today's programs. Which Thank they are available in the back, I believe, if anyone would like to take one home. Right, please take one for the memory. Yes. Right. And I believe, okay, she's not, I don't think she's still here. I don't either. Yeah. All right. And now for Mr. Felipe Gonzalez, in the countless hours and hard labor in assisting dreams fulfilled in the move of our new location. Come here, Felipe. Come here. get for moving. <laughs> All right. Uh, we'll have refreshments and fellowship in the lobby. Uh, we're going to also do pictures in front of the Christmas tree. If you'll please stay for that. Thank everyone for attending this afternoon and we look forward to many more concerts in the future. Thank you all so very much for attending and thank you our Shepherd of the Hills family for showing up and being here, and especially we need to say thank you to Pastor Fox and Marilyn. Pastor Fox, uh, he, confirmed he confirmed to Catherine. Years ago, so it's, we, they've been family friends for a very long time, so. And what, what, was, what else was that, Marilyn? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Unfair question. Only years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Unfair question. Unfair question, Marilyn. <laughs> Let's just say I was, what, eighth grade, ninth grade, something like that? So, so plenty of years ago. Let's just leave it at that. <laughs> okay. But yeah, they've been dear family friends for a long time, so I much appreciate them coming. I, I'd also like to recognize some folks that are here especially. Penny and Andre Owens. Stand up, please. Penny and Andre have become very good friends over the past a couple of years, and we're excited to have you here. Thank you so much. That's right, refreshments in the lobby. 